Hey guys, usually I don't go on the racking boards too often, but um, I want to be the first to tell you that I'm the newest Canadian member. Awesome. So I posted um, my picture on the Canadian um, member thread. A little cute mug picture of me. And the tea room, the left side, and the right side. It's actually, we posted the light on and it was twilight and then there you have it. We're going to be posting quite a few uh, videos today. We're going to be posting um, an arboreal tea tour uh, for Translator Kid 95. I'm going to do this on the Kodak Z8 HD camera. And also for Fireworks uh, 1010 XD Fireworks. Um, if you wanted me to post a video of Maggie. Okay, so today we're going to do a little first impression uh, review of my um, new camera, the Kodak uh, ZI8 model. First of all, it's a nice camera, you know, it's um, not complaining, it's uh, an HD camera. It's got uh, great features. Kind of looks like a uh, telephone, and you can see it has um, a program that'll upload directly to YouTube. It's got an HD with 1080p. I'm just keeping the uh, safety cover on just to um, make sure I don't muck up the screen. So the first features I have is WVGA that allows me to take 6 minute and 38 second long videos. Okay, and then I have um, 720p which allows me to take 4 minutes and 9 seconds and you have the um, 720p slash 60 frames per second which allows me to take 2 minutes and 46 second videos so that was the video that I posted um, on the last Adora video and 1080p which is uh, 2 minutes and 46 so the recommended one that's uh, 720 with uh, 60 um, frames per second yeah so it's a good camera, you know it's an HD, it, it does its uh, job, but you know sometimes the recording is not that long enough and of course uh, HD videos are really big files, like um, the .mov file, the video that I posted um, in HD is 406 megabytes long. And yeah, that's a real bummer because I won't be able to back them up because it takes a lot of space on my hard drive if I have to post several videos in HD. So you might not likely see like any tour videos or any or feeding videos or in HD because the file sizes are immense, but I'm going to try anyway to see whether or not I could post one in HD. If not, I'll uh, record these on the uh, Sony T70. So um, This one actually takes .mov files and uh, usually the main software that I use to edit my videos is Windows Movie Maker. And of course, Movie Maker won't support my files. So I posted, I went to, um, well, got onto my Xylosoft video converter uh, and I tried to convert the MOV files into either AVI files or uh, WMB and it doesn't work. So I'm scratching my head for about four hours to figure out how am I going to upload an HD video onto YouTube. So I said, okay, let me try to download Sony Vegas Studio. People um, have been telling me that it's a great uh, editing software, but when I looked at it, it's pretty complicated. But no matter, I tried to post directly my um, movie file and nothing. So. I said to myself, well, now what, am I, what am I going to do? Luckily, this uh, video camera came with a program called ArcSoft Media Impression. So let me do some editing videos so I could either browse my videos, I can also upload them directly to YouTube without having to log on to my account. But of course, the one thing I doesn't do is I have to go put the ads on the videos because it won't allow you to do that. Another problem with uh, any HD camera is that um, it takes a long time to upload to YouTube. For example, the uh, 3 minute and 40 uh, second video that I posted in HD took about a good half an hour to upload. 
whether if I post uh, the same video length on this camera, I can get it into five minutes. So um, it's going to take a while before we can actually see a, one video in HD for me. So I'm going to try my best and see what I can do. Yeah, so the biggest problem that I have with the ZI-8, it's, um, although it's my first time using it and um, I'm sure I'm going to get the hang of it once I um, do more videos with it, is that the zooming in feature kind of sucks because it won't zoom in unless I take off the macro. So I have to take off the macro, zoom in, and it's not continuous zooming as this camera. It's going in spurts like boom, 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 boom. So it's kind of annoying that I have to try to zoom in, put the macro on, try to get a good focus, and try to get my little sling. So that is not really the greatest um, feature that I like about it. And a lot of people are uh, telling me that the sand quality uh, is a bit low on this, that other than the um, this camera. Well, I think probably because my microphone might be a bit too low, so I'm quite going to raise it and try to see if that makes a big difference. Yeah, so, um, yeah, other than that, it's a great camera. You know, can't complain, it's a really cheap one. It's uh, 200, I think we paid $200 for it. I had a 32 uh, gigabyte SDHC card and <laughs> it would not read my, um, on my computer and my um, camera, it would just freeze up. So now I just bought a HP 16 gig one and um, it works. So on the whole, <clears throat> it's a great camera, not bad for the price. Uh, and uh, honestly, great quality. The sound quality may not be the greatest and of course the file sizes are and it's just the biggest problem. So I'm going to be switching back and forth uh, between the Cybershot, the one I'm recording right now, it's a Sony T70, and the Kodak Z8 model. So, with that said, hope you enjoy uh, this review and some uh, great videos on HD to come. Alright guys, have a nice day.